In this video, we are going to be seeing my $500,000 sneaker collection, seven $15,000 a pair Yeezys, yes, $15,000 each, super rare shoes only made for LeBron James friends and family, $30,000 Nikes, and so much more, starting with $60 shoes and working our way up. These are a $60 pair of Vans. Here we have the Jordan 8 Aquas. Funny story about this shoe, I only paid about $65 back in the day at the outlets because people slept on it. It's now currently sitting around $400 resale. Here we have some more Yeezy V2s, except these ones are custom. They started off as cream white Yeezys and I shipped them off and I had him do an early 90s to 2000s cartoon theme. You got some SpongeBob and Patrick right there, Futurama, my current favorite TV show, Ed, Ed and Eddie, and a bunch more. This is a shoe that I'll never wear. I use them more as a display piece for art and I love them so much. Jordan 4, white cement. 2016 version, $588. It's really weird to be making shoe videos again, guys. If you've been here for a while, that's originally how I started my channel, and now I kind of switched into more vlogging, but I still do have my love for sneakers. Jordan 11 Gamma, this was my first ever Jordan Retro that sparked the entire collection, so if it wasn't for these, I would never have gotten into shoes. Right here we have a really cool shoe. Here we have the What The LeBron 11s. So this is kind of a combination of his best shoes ever. Usually in the What The series, they only do colors of that year, but in this shoe, they went ahead and went with all of his shoes put together. So on the bottom, you have the iconic LeBron 4 Fruity Pebble sole, and then you got some graffiti LeBron, superhero LeBron, just all kinds of cool accents, and this shoe is just insane. It's kind of funny when somebody doesn't know about shoes and they see this shoe, they would expect this would be the shoe that would be worth hundreds of thousands, but it's actually only a few hundred dollars Really cool, colorful. Matt, dead ass, don't do that face. Don't do it. You look really stupid. Stop. Come on, I look cool. No, you don't. Stop. Move your face down. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. So like Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> now we're starting to get into the more crazy, expensive shoes. Alex, roll the B roll. Bruh. Alex, you were supposed to start the B-roll right there. Oh, you probably didn't start it because we should use real hundreds. Okay, one second. Mom, can I borrow some hundreds? Right here we have the Jordan 4 Travis Scott. Here's one of my more crazy colorways that I have and one of my favorites, the Jordan 5 Supreme Camos. When I saw this shoe, it was a must cop. Unfortunately, I missed it on the drop, so I had to pay resale, but I love these bad boys. Next, we're gonna take a look at my Sean Witherspoon Air Maxes. The colorway on these things is insane, and I love the material he uses, especially the little Velcro hint on the tongue right there. Super dope touch. We're gonna take a look at my off-white Presto collection. I have the white and the black pair right here. Unfortunately, I don't have the original color Way, but these two are super sick to me. But I do love these two. My favorite of the two is the white pair. Just a super clean colorway. Unfortunately, it does get super dirty. I wear this shoe a ton. While we're on the topic of off-white shoes, I'm blessed enough to have all three versions of the off-white Jordan 1. First off right here, we have the UNC off-white Jordan 1. This is just a super clean colorway. I laced it up with the blue and orange laces. I just think it makes the shoe pop off. And I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Right here might be my favorite of the three. It's the Jordan 1 Euro. I got it laced up with the purple laces as you can see right there. In my opinion, the Jordan 1 Off-White is one of the best shoes in the game right now. These things just go super hard. I still haven't worn these ones yet. I don't know if I will. It's a white shoe. It's going to get super dirty. So for now, I'm just displaying them. And last but not least, we have the Jordan Off-White Chicago. I wear this shoe all the time. It's crazy how much it skyrocketed in value. You got the orange and green laces right there. Off-White. For those of you guys wondering how I was able to afford all of these shoes, when I was 18 years old, right out of high school, I got a job sponging cars, making minimum wage. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> That just sounds so weird. As I was saying, sorry, quit laughing. As I was saying, I made minimum wage washing cars for a living and everything I made went towards buying shoes. And as I moved up in the company and got raises, I continued just to buy shoes like a madman. Unfortunately, I've slowed down with that a little bit and now my money goes into the YouTube videos. But yeah, this entire collection was self-funded, self-made from my own hard work. I don't know why my sister's laughing. Just because there's so many shoes to go through, I'm gonna do a super quick speed round to get you guys caught up. Jordan 1 Fragment, Red Supreme Foams, Black Supreme Foams. Just on Jordan 2s. I don't know what these are. Off white Vapor Maxes. Wave Runners. More expensive Yeezy V2s. Turtle Doves. Shattered Backboards. I started the video off with $60 pair of vans, and here's a pair of $1,200 Fear of God vans. Ew. Here we have the LeBron South Beach 8. I'm very sad. I paid $800 for this shoe, and they're re releasing it this year, so I'm gonna lose a lot of money on these. 
but they're still a six shoe. Now moving along, right here we have the Galaxy Foam Posits. This was the first ever foam posit that they put a print on. That's why it's such an expensive and iconic shoe. It's also got the glow sole right there, removed before flight tag. Speaking of cool iconic prints, right here we have the LeBron 10 cork. This entire shoe on the upper is made out of real cork to represent the top of a champagne bottle when they pop the bottles and the cork comes off. Super, super good quality on this shoe. The leather is insane. They got that crazy white to contrast the cork right there and then the waxed laces. This is just an amazing shoe, super slept on. For all you kids that think it's fake, I overpaid at Flight Club back in the day. Can you move over a little bit? That's my good side. Right there, just a little more. Next, we have another foam posit. As you guys will see in my collection, I love foam posits. Here is my most expensive foam posit, the Paranormans. Based off the movie Paranorman, I've never even seen that movie, but come on, the green flames. And then in the inside, it says, you do not become a hero by being normal. And that's why I'm a hero, because I'm weird. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna like that. You got the P right there for the Paranorman. It says weird wins right there. So congratulations, Cheyenne, you're a winner. Here are the most colorful shoes in my collection. My three human races by Pharrell. We have the yellow pair, green, and blue. There's still some other ones out there that I wanna collect, but so far, these are the ones that I have. What should I say about them? They're colorful, they're super comfortable. I have so many shoes, it's just hard to talk about them all. I'm not gonna throw the other one, it's my favorite. Right here we have the Louis Vuitton Jaspers. A lot of people don't know, but before Kanye was ever with Adidas or Nike, he was actually with Louis Vuitton, and this is one of the shoes that he designed. This is one of the most rare shoes in my collection. I only know a few other people in the world that have this shoe. There was a guy actually selling this on StockX for $30,000 the other day. That's just insane. This is the LeBron 4 Fruity Pebble. This is by far the most rare shoe I have in my entire collection, and I actually have two of them. It was only designed for LeBron James friends and family and never came out to the public. Hopefully it doesn't or I'll get screwed. It gets its name because LeBron's favorite cereal was Fruity Pebbles, so they have the Fruity Pebbles print throughout and on the inside of the shoe. And my personal favorite part is the insane crazy sole with the rainbow print on the bottom. I've heard rumors that there's only 50 to 100 shoes in existence, so like I said, extremely rare and it's a shoe that you just don't see a lot. Now, I know you guys have all been waiting to see my seven Red Octobers, but before we do that, I have a few special shoes I have to show you. <laughs> I tried to make that dramatic, but that was pretty weird. We have my other Yeezy 2s. There was three colorways. Right here we have the Solars and the Platinums. The cool thing about these shoes is they all glow in the dark because Kanye said it would look cool if you're in the club and your shoes are glowing. And of course, they all have the iconic Velcro strap with the really heavy metal lace tips right there. The quality on these are just amazing. On these two colorways, you actually have the little scales right there, and on the red ones, they're like out little pokey things. I don't know how to explain it. Different material there, but besides that, they're pretty much all the same shoe, just different colorways. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. My favorite pair of shoes, the Red October. I remember the day when this shoe came out, I was in high school and everybody was freaking out because it sold out in seconds and it was just an insane shoe. I never thought I'd be able to have it. But like I said, once I started working, I saved up for a long time and I bought this shoe right here. And then I eventually got addicted and bought seven of them. Unfortunately, these are probably one of the most uncomfortable shoes I've ever worn in my entire life, but that doesn't change the fact that they're my favorite shoe ever. Not really a great reason why I have seven. I just love them a lot and wanted to do it. Before I finish this video off and show you guys my most expensive $20,000 sneaker back here, I have an additional 400 pairs of shoes that I keep hidden from the world. I've also made a video about that. If you wanna see my entire hidden sneaker collection, make sure you go check that video out. But now, let me show you guys my most expensive shoe. And last but not least, we have the Nike Air Mag, one of the most iconic shoes in the sneaker game. This is the shoe that was inspired from Back to the Future 2. They usually light up, but they're dead right now. I've worn these shoes above LA in a helicopter and got some amazing shots. This is another one of my most proud accomplishments, being able to own this shoe. I saved six and a half months, every single paycheck, just for one pair of shoes and now I keep them on the top of my display up there and they're just kind of one of my holy grail moments They're more than just a shoe to me. It's kind of an accomplishment showing me that I can do whatever I set my mind to so I love these babies mm. <laughs> That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching make sure you click this video right here and smash the like button I'll see you next Tuesday